Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to take another trip on the mine trip, mine cart track. Show you how extensive it is in the other direction. Last time we went east into the rising sun. Today we are going to go west. Here's the mine and quarry I started working when I first started playing. This is the first stretch of uh, mine cart track that I ever laid down right here. And right up ahead we have our switching station recently built. The cart track goes in two directions. To the left, it goes to the town of Uboa, which is a fairly new addition. To the right, it goes to Hamburg and beyond. But we are going to take the Hamburg track. Now, while we're driving along, I have something to tell you. The other day, somebody came on looked at my videos and then wrote some very nasty comments in the comment section. Said nasty things about me, nasty things about my school. So what I did was I blocked that person, I deleted the comments, and I reported him to Facebook, or uh, excuse me, to YouTube. And that's exactly what you should do in that kind of situation with one other addition. You should tell an adult. If you're one of your parents, a teacher, counselor, the dean at school. Here we are at Hamburg again, where we've been before. We're going to go on beyond that. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about what that guy said any more than that, because, first of all, it's not true. Second of all, he's a jerk, and he's not worth my time. And that's how you should handle it if you find yourself in that kind of situation. Because let's face it, we live in a situation, uh, we live in a world where there are people who can only make themselves feel better by making, trying to make other people feel bad. And we shouldn't let them get away with it. That's what the whole bullying thing is all about. So, enough said about that guy. Anyway, here we are in the dark forest a long time to build this road because I had to cut down a lot of trees. So while I was out here I built a little cabin and it's coming right up on the right hand side. There it is. Oak Grove Cottage I call it because it's in the middle of an oak grove. And here we are taking off to the next stop. Now, a fine young man of my acquaintance. Oh, no, there's a dog on the track. A wolf, actually. There you go. If it was a sheep, I would have just stabbed it. But you don't want to stab a wolf because there's a whole bunch of other wolves and they're not going to be very happy about that. Anyway, as I was saying, a fine young man of my acquaintance suggested that I could cut the, the um, uh, video here and splice it together so it wasn't such a long and boring trip on the uh, cart track and I totally get where he's coming from but I'm not going to do that because I want to show you how long and extensive this track really is is kind of the point of the video um, so this is probably the second longest segment right here Ross is over a long plane. Again, no horses here. I don't get it. I don't know why in my world there are so many places where you could have horses that there are no horses, but that's the situation. Anyway, on the other side of the um, field is a flower biome, flower mountain biome, and here it is. I built a little horse on the hillside, and I also made this waterfall with two buckets of water. Pretty cool, huh? So we got a little stop. 
you notice the little uh, uh, cases, chests that I have next to the, the uh, stops. They hold extra mine carts. Here we continue on through the flower biome. It's really kind of neat. You know, something I've noticed is that the more you play this game, the more real that the world that you're traveling through starts to look. Maybe it's me, but I don't know. Anyway, this is the longest length of track here between the stops. We cross the flower biome and uh, into the sunflower field. You might have noticed I have a row of sunflowers in front of my house. This is where those came from. Again, no horses, lots of sheep, some pigs, an occasional cow, no horses. So what had happened is I took a, a walk and just journeying out this way one day and uh, got lost and wandered around. But I did keep track of where I was by writing down the coordinates. And I discovered about five towns out here. Five towns all relatively close to each other but far away from me. So eventually I built roads back out to them and then once the roads were built I added the rail track. So here we come to the mountains, finally crossing the plains. Oh, I picked up a, uh, a piece of wool because there was a sheep on the track last time I went through here and I whacked him with my sword. I didn't expect that piece of wool to still be here. <laughs> through a mountain. And we're almost to the next stop, which is the village of East Bremen. Hardly anybody remembers the story of the musicians of Bremen, but it's a great little fairy tale. If you've never heard of it, you should look it up. Google it. Musicians of Bremen. Anywhere, here's the town of East Bremen. I spent a lot of time building new roads and pathways all through it. It's kind of built on a hillside. And this very nice little uh, house I took for my own. It's got a balcony. And here is one of my favorite things I've built. Ah, a big sword monument. What do you think? I was really pleased with it. I built it and then I jumped off the top into the water. Okay, it's almost nighttime, but I think we are close enough that we can just get to the next stop, which is the last one on this rail trip, which is the town of West Bremen because it's really close. That's why I named them the same thing. And there we are. There's this. It was literally like a uh, two minutes walk, but I wanted to build the track. And this marks the end of the rail cart road. However, my regular roads continue on to four other towns now. So, here we are at the end of the rail trip. Eventually, I will cross this little water path here, go up those steps on the other side, and off on to the other towns. Well, 
I go to my own little house here. There we are. And that's the extent of the rails. Maybe a while before I post the next video, or it might not be. But in any case, I'll see you later. Have a great one.